Well, there's work being done to revitalize and remove blighted properties in New Iberia. As Trey Francis explains, the goal is to replace them with developments to benefit the entire community. Like president of the Downtown Neighborhood Association says he grew up in this very neighborhood and says he, along with his organization, wants to see this city transformed one house at a time. We paint homes um, and, you know, just kind of restore them. Little small projects, in and out common projects, uh, especially for the elderly, just to kind of uplift the standard of living and uplift the standard for the community. Hippolyte says the organization has acquired one property with donations on Ann Street that could soon be a neighborhood park. Like slides and swings, things for the kids, just to, just to beautify and uplift the, the neighborhood. And is working on acquiring more to put single family homes in and provide more resources for kids. The kids uh, in today's society, they're, they're very limited uh, for the programs, after school programs that, that we have uh, to offer. And I, I feel as though if we're able to offer the kids more, then um, we're going to be able to put out more. The organization also helps revitalize homes that need repair in the community. Here's how you could put in your request. You let us know what you have and then we assess it and then we determine whether or not we're able to get out there and get started on your property. But we're trying to continue to pour in positive energy so we could get positive results for our area. Hippoli says the organization plans to break ground by summer. In New Iberia, Trey Francis, KETC, TV3.